Welcome to Rick Rack Ruby. I'm Laura Cluvo. My last video was a tutorial for the lace collage stocking ornaments and I was having so much fun that I made two more and I filmed it for you. It's more of a demo than a tutorial, but it was fun and I hope you like it. When I was working on my video earlier today, I only made one collage stocking, but I was really inspired to make a couple more. <laughs> Once I had all my fun supplies out, I got so many ideas for a couple more. So I wanted to just go ahead and it won't be so much of a tutorial as maybe just a fun thing to watch maybe? We'll see. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the few additional projects that I had kind of started. I'm always going to stick to my formula, cuff, diagonal, toe, touch of color. Maybe I'll make a time lapse. Now for my first stocking, I use the um, buttonhole twist, the silk buttonhole twist. But for this one, I'm going to use just regular floss. And here's a pro tip that I thought of from Ruby. Um, and that is just to go ahead and buy one of these. It's just a giant package of all kinds of colors of floss. It's not expensive. And then you kind of always have the color that maybe it, it's not exactly, you know, exactly exactly what you want but um there's always something close enough and it's just fun to have such a nice assortment of colors I think this is good enough just the way it is. A little bit of purple here, a little purple here, and it certainly has enough going on. So let's assemble it. These two pieces right sides together, and then these two also right sides together, stitch along the top edge. Open them up and fold the seam allowances down toward the body of the stocking. I like to use a lot of pins for this step. And I'll use a full quarter inch seam allowance. I'll start right here and I'll leave this section open and I'll stitch all the way around. Now I'll clip the seam allowance right at this inner bend in the stocking on the stocking body as well as the lining. And then I'll trim the seam allowance 
all the way around. I'm going to sew up this opening right here by tucking in the seam allowance and just top stitching across that opening. And now I'll tuck the lining in and gently press it. Here's the hanging loop. I could use this for the bow, that'd be cute, right? I think I will, just for something different. And I'll put a little smudge of glue right here at the center of the bow and kind of press those loops together. And there we go. I love it. Here's the third fabric that I've chosen for my stocking uh, ornaments for the lace collage. And I'm going to follow my formula, cuff, diagonal, toe, touch of color, because I want you to see how easy it is to create something that's just fun and pretty and everyone is a little bit different. I have some options for cuffs. This one's pretty but I feel like it's obscuring the color a little too much and this one would be fine but I've already used that one. So I think maybe this one and I had this green ribbon. Here it is, okay. The green ribbon, which I thought would be pretty behind the bird lace, and I'll do this look again. That green is about the same color as these leaves, and I like the way that looks. And then some tatting. Something here and something here. I, have, I still have a little piece of this, which might work, but no, nah, I think we can do better. Always cut a little bit extra because I might decide that I want to maybe center this flower for instance and so then I would have to pull it over a little bit and I want to make sure I always have an option to sort of readjust my sewing machine is right here to my right So I'll get started on sewing these. I feel like this, this, and this are kind of all the same color and I wanted a little bit more variety. So I think I'm going to use this here and then this and let this flower shine. I'm going back to my silk buttonhole twist. I think this color works with this fabric. And hmm. let me secure the end first. And then I'll stitch right here, each one of these little rings straight stitched.
worked my, my way all the way across. So I'll secure my thread in the back. I have a bag of buttons here I'm reaching into. I think that looks good. I'll sew those on with my silk buttonhole twist. very recently purchased this card of buttons and I haven't even used any of them yet. Maybe we could just do a button. How about this nice oval? I like that. Let's see. I like that. Two pieces right sides together, a pin and stitch across the top straight edge, and these two also right sides together. I will pin and stitch across the top right, I mean the top, the top edge. Right sides together, turn the seam allowance down toward the stocking, the body of the stocking, not, not toward the lining. I always start with this little center, matching up the centers. Somehow when I do it this way, it, um, it makes it easier to fold the lining to the inside. It seems to be more willing to go inside. And I'm going to pin all the way around, leave an opening in the bottom, and stitch it up. Now I'll clip these inside curves. I'll carefully turn it right side out. Now I'll tuck this in and sew up the opening by top stitching. I turn the lining in, it looks really good. The birds are pretty well centered and the buttons look good. I had enough of an allowance, enough of a boundary over here where I wasn't sewing over them and I'm going to lightly press this to smooth it out and then we'll add the hanging loop. This is 1 16th inch ribbon. I'm pulling it through. And then I'll tie a bow here to the, I'm tying the bow to the loop. I cut this very long, but I can always trim it. Now I'll add a smudge of glue right here so I can press those loops together to secure it. And there we go. I wanted to show you some other stockings that I made from the same fabric. 
but with different lace collages. This one has little French knots, a button, a lace applique. This one has sort of a crystal button at the top and some buttons here, eyelet. This is a wide piece of eyelet that I broke up with this other lace. And then this one, which also had this sort of crystal button and just a variety of laces, another lace collage. Even though it's the same fabric, it looks a lot different without the strong um, rose, the bright rose. It has a little more subtle coloring, although it is the same fabric. There's the rose. But it's the same idea, lace collage stockings. Now I also have Lace Collage Angels. The lace is collaged onto the fabric and then the angel is created. With paper wings and yarn hair and wire halos and um, a wooden ball face. This will be our next tutorial. I hope you like it. Lots to see. Thank you for watching my demo. My next tutorial will be the Lace Collage Angels. If you're enjoying my videos, please like, share, and subscribe.